Mark, how are you doing? I'm good, Sir Jamie. How are you? Good. It's nice to talk to you again. I talked to you um, shortly before your fight with um, with Gary Russell. Um, yeah, I remember. Look at, yeah, thank you. Well, looking back on that and kind of sitting down and watching the fight for the first time, what was your your reaction to watching it? Who who's fight? Who was gonna fight? Uh, was when you when you fought Gary Russell, when you saw it for the first time after the after the fight, what did you think of your performance? Um, my, uh, I, f I think my performance there is good. Uh, clearly, I won the fight and I control the fight, so I win, win uh, fairly and clearly. I know that it's every fighter's dream to become a world champion. You became a world champion. What? How did you celebrate? <laughs> and I celebrate um, me and my family in the Philippines, and uh, all my cities are so proud of me because I'm a, I become a, I'm, my dream come true be to become a world champion and. We're so happy that it's WBC, so the prestigious belt. So it's it's an honor to get a bit of belt like that. Get a belt like that. Now I talk to boxing fans from from all over the world, and Philippine fans are are some of the best fans in the world. Um, how much does that help you and make you strive harder when you kind of get that love from from your fans? Um, I always focus in my me myself and in the gym. To make them proud and when I when I fight, so I I, I train hard work and to to maintain that status. I know that Manny Pacquiao, you know, arguably the the biggest idol in in, in boxing, um, and and obviously in in the Philippines, huge. With him retired, do you feel like you have more of the spotlight on you to become like the next great Filipino champ? Yeah, when, when when he announced that he retired, um, a little sad or I cried a little bit because he's my idol since since I start boxing. He's the one who he's the one that inspired me to train boxing. So he's my hero in boxing. So that's why a little bit sad. But if he if if he fights, I hope I I'm the one in undercard. <laughs> I know that you're signed to MP Promotions, that, that you two know each other. Over the years, what would you say has been some of the, the best advice that Manny Pacquiao has given you? Uh, he advised me the last time uh, we talked, uh, when, when we go back home to the Philippines. Um, he said to me that, he told, he told me how to, about the, how to discipline yourself in, in the training, train hard work every time, and focus and pray to God. That was his said to me. Do you ever kind of sit back and, and watch film with Manny at all? Does he, does he ever kind of give you pointers about the technical part of boxing? Actually, he talked about um, about my opponent this coming fight. He, t he taught me how to defeat that tall guy. So he, he, he only said to me to defeat that guy, use your footwork. Use your footwork. I like it. And speaking of that, Ray Vargas, he is a tall, a tall fighter for the division. Um, is that something that you're used to is seeing someone that tall or is that going to be a bit different for you? No, because first time I, uh, I fight in, in PBC in Showtime, my opponent is a tall, tall guy. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Rigoberto Hermosilio. And he's that, that guy is a replacement. So I used to it to fight a tall guy. It's better to fight a tall guy than the small guy. Why would you say it's better? Because it's hard, it's easy to target tall guy. And uh, the small guys, when he runs and small, it's difficult to catch. Now, I know that a lot of people, when they're kind of looking at you two on paper, they're going to say, okay, Ray Vargas is the bigger fighter, but he's the taller fighter, not necessarily the bigger fighter. I mean, he's coming up a division. Do you anticipate being the stronger fighter in there? I think I'm, a, I'm a stronger than him because my, my normal weight, my my normal weight is 126 pounds in in, mm -hmm. in fighting, and he's moving up. So I'm I'm stronger and big, I'm bigger than him. He's he's just tall. Like mm -hmm. I'm assuming that you've obviously looked at some of his film and see see seen his fights before. Um, what's kind of your opinion of him as a fighter? Um, he's as a classic fighter, a uh, slugger fighter. He's not gonna engage. He's not gonna engage if he feels uh his opponent is strong. So. I think it's gonna run run this fight, this fight, but I hope it's not gonna run too much, cause so that the uh, people and audience can enjoy the fight. 
I know that working out of, you know, wild card, working with Freddie, that you, you probably, you know, have some great people working with you. Um, have there been any big names that you've been working with while sparring? Yeah, I have a, a lot of sparring partners, but we're not going to reveal our sparring partners yet. It's, uh, gotcha. Yeah, after maybe after the weigh-in or after we, we posted it, my sparring partners. Now, you're, you're fighting in the Alamo Dome. That's where uh, Pacquiao versus Barrera happened. It's got to mean something special to you that, that here you are all these years later, you know, um, in that same type of stadium. What does that mean to you? That's that, that arena that I first, I saw uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao and Marco Antonio Barrera first fight. And that the first fight I saw him fighting. So that, 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 fight, that fight inspires me to train. So it's, that, 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 fighting is, uh, that fight is, this, this arena is very important to me. It's uh, very special because uh, that's, the time, that's the day and the time that I saw Manny Pacquiao fighting and then it inspired me to train. And now I'm the main event to fight there. So. I'm very blessed. Has he has he talked to you about fighting in the Alamo Dome at all, or what that feeling is like, or that experience in a great fight like that? We haven't talked that about that. But if 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 I showed him, if I told him that I gonna fight that arena, maybe surprised too. Now I remember the last time we talked. Um, you, I kind of asked you if there were any fighters, you know, other than Manny pa Pacquiao that have inspired you. And you named one name, which was Vinny Pazienza. And yeah. the second, as soon as I put that up there, Vinny favorited the tweet and retweeted it. Um, what was it like, you know, kind of, you know, have you had a chance to meet Vinny? Yeah, I've, uh, it's been an honor. It's, a, it's my honor to, to face, face to face and, and uh, in, 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 in Atlantic City, that my, it's my idol since since that movie that I saw it. So it's great. It's great. It, it's inspired me and honor for me. What, uh, what did he say to you when you two met? He said to me that uh, good luck to my fight uh, to the, for Gary Russell Jr. And, and he, he was there. He was there oh, wow. to watch my fight. So yeah, I need to win. <laughs> it's pretty surreal. I mean, if you think about it, one of your idols is your promoter <laughs> and yeah. a friend and your other idol is sitting there watching you win the world title. I mean, I, did you ever think in your wildest dreams that that kind of scenario would ever be there? It's, it makes me inspired, inspired to fight because my idol's watching me in my back and it's good. I, I, ha I have a good, a great, uh, great tra trainer, Freddie mm -hmm. Roach in the back. Um, as far as, you know, working with Freddie, uh, it has to be feel pretty natural at this point working with him that, that you guys know each other uh, pretty well at this point. Does it feel just like familiar at this point that you guys really just click well together? Yeah, we, we, our, our chemistry with Gus Freddie and Gus Marvin is good. Yeah, uh, we, we, we understand each other and, and I know his style and he knows my style. So and he corrects my mistakes before and now I'm a better fighter. Well, Mark, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for the time. And of course, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.